morning and here we are at camp and even at camp we need power we bring our computers I'm always working on our videos and other things plus we have an electric refrigerator and uh, lights and when we take our bikes our bikes need to be recharged so we generally have to have a power source so as you can see we have a solar array set up here and this is uh, each of these panels is 100 watts I'm going to show you how we connect them and this fabulous machine is our Bluetti uh, solar generator. Now we're going to be doing a um, review of this so I'm not going to go into everything that it can do but just know that it can pretty much do some phenomenal things including I can just put my phone right here and it will charge it just by laying it on the top. So we'll go over all of those later. Right now I'm going to show you how we're going to connect these panels. Now we have them lined up to where the sun is right now. This is east, this is west. The ecliptic, we are at 40 degrees north latitude and so we want these aimed at about 40 degrees. Um, and so the ecliptic goes from east to west. The ecliptic is, is the name for the path that the sun makes across the sky as the earth turns underneath it. So you know the sun doesn't actually move, it is the earth turning that moves. So that's your science lesson for the day. Our neighbors are getting ready to peel out in their very fancy machines. Thousands and thousands of dollars worth of big desert machines over there. So I'm gonna connect these in a series and then connect them to our Blue Eddy. So, solar panels come with a set of cords behind them. They just come that way. I have added these little extension cables because we need more maneuvering room. So I've saved the last one to do to show you. So here are the cables from behind, and here are the male and female connectors, and you simply cannot get them mixed up. So they just pop right in there. And then the cables themselves each end in the very same male and female connectors. So we're going to start at this end, and I'm going to take one, and it doesn't matter which one. So I've got the black, on this one I'm going to connect it to a red. So this is male to female, and it pops into place, and then the other one coming from this panel is the male, and I'm going to connect it to the female over here. This is called a series. We're just linking all of these together. And then this male goes to this female. So I have a male left. So that we started over here. There's a female spare on the end over there. So we did male to female, male to female, male to female, and then that leaves this male. And so because we are going to need a lot of distance with our Blue Eddy. Not just leave it out here, but I've got to take it in the tent. Maybe I've got to take it in the greenhouse. I have these extra long cables, so we are now going to connect the ends to these cables. Color is not always an indicator because th these longer cables have both a male and a female tip end. Male on this end, fem um, female on this end, male on the other end. So you can't always go by color. What you can go by is the shape. And so I am holding a male and a female. Now, these are on the longer cables. So on our little array right here, we have um, connected them as I described, and we have one left on each end. So I now need to connect each end to the longer cable. So this is a male end. I'm going to insert it in the female receptacle and notice that they are both orange.
but they're connected correctly because there's no other way to connect. Now I'm going to go down to the other end and here is the remaining end on our, the end of our array. It's female. I'm going to connect the male. And it clicked. Now I'm going to find the other end of the cables. Bluetti provides all of the cables. This is a Bluetti cable right here. These longer ones I bought on Amazon. So I'm going to connect male to female, male to female for the Bluetti. And then this is a specialized tip that just goes with the Blue Eddy. And so there's a specialized receptacle right down here and I'm going to put it in. Now, we're not gonna put it in out here because I need this over in the screen tent. So we're gonna take this over in the screen tent where we can see the screen better and get it set up there. All right, we are inside the screen house. We have the Blue Eddy in here. It was down at 85% from 100%. When we landed at camp, we had 100%. We used it overnight for a couple of things without recharging it. Now it is connected to our solar array. And the screen tells us you can tell by my grin our input is 365 watts. So our solar array, that is 400 watts, is uh, being very efficient in that the input is now 365 watts. So we are in business to keep this baby charged and to use for our computers. It has all kinds of different ways we can connect, lots of different things. So that's it for how we do power at camp.